Tigno, and welcome to episode number 15 of Cubby Blue for Life's Let's Play series, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, at the end of last episode, morning, we Arthur. ended up... Um, <clears throat> last episode, we played... Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. I need to go get him some crap, um... What's it called? Leather working tools. I gotta figure out where to get leather working tools at the ledger. Purchase leather working tools at the Remember, ledger. You won't find something like this anywhere else. Um, last episode we ran a bounty. We saved Bill from bounty hunters, and we stole a. Um, we stole a, an oil cart. Come on. So we need to get Okay. So we did that. Let's see if we can contribute some money. It's 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. 47, 52, $57. And I got a trophy. All right, let's see. So we have Abigail Roberts. Abigail needs to speak to. And then we also have Micah Bell. So let's do the Abigail right here. That's what Abigail needs. Probably go fishing or something, because that picture was what that was showing. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. Guess we're doing something with Jack. How are you holding up? Not very well. well I'm sorry. It'll get better eventually. Where is this kid? Oh. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. 
Let's go get your pole then. Oh, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Where did it go? Alright, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a <laughs> brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Box over there, you see it? All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where did they just come from? Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I feel like it just disappears. Just by the water there? You mean? Yeah. I can't wait to get started. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is Wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look. There we go. Is it a big one? I don't think I've ever actually done See fishing. There, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really done any fishing when I was playing on online or. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. <laughs> Okay there? I think so. This is hard. Why am I not catching any? Just be patient. It's exactly what most kids say. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of the 
those red flowers. I'll be right back. Fish on the line. Let's catch it. Put this one all the way in. Looks like the same one I had last time. Well, this is clearly the spot for rock bass. You got a stick at things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. I'm afraid, I'm afraid something's gonna happen while we're doing this. Like a bear is gonna show up or something. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... A guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Are you taking me back? Can we go now, please? Yeah, we can go.
And it just disappears. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Matt? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yes, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Let's get off this. There you are. How are you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. Oh no. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. And with that, that is episode number 15. Um, if you have not hit that subscription button, definitely hit that subscription button. That is what helps drive the channel here on, on YouTube. If you don't want to hit that subscription button, it's perfectly fine. Hit, give the channel a like, give it a comment. Uh, any th comments that are inappropriate will be deleted. Uh, and if, if not either one, I just want to thank you for hanging out and watching. So you guys have a, have a good one. And as always, game on.